Hi there everyone, I hope everyone's keeping safe and well and uh, thank you very much for joining me on this video. Um, if anyone's seen the video previous to this you'll see that myself and Claire went out for a walk and whilst we were out on the walk we collected a few wild edibles and we collected some uh, ramsons, wild garlic and we collected some ground elder and what I thought I'd do um, now is obviously out in the garden um, got the pan on some heat on here and I thought I'd cook a uh, ramson and ground elder frittata um, but yeah we've got the pan on we've got the we'll uh, put a bit of oil in there I've got all the ingredients to the side of me here I will get that on and we'll go through the ingredients as we're putting them in the pan to start with we've got some chopped onions So we'll cook them off for a little bit. We'll just let them gently uh, cook down. Just a quick drink of tea. Well, the onions have had a few minutes cooking down now, so we'll add some. Cooked sliced new potatoes. We'll add them into the pan. And we'll cook them down with the onions. Come out the way. Now we'll just give them a few minutes and get rid of these balls. Where the onions and potatoes have had a few minutes now cooking down. Um, they're looking lovely, smells amazing. So what we'll do now, we'll take the ground elder. We'll look at the ground elder. And then we'll take the ramsons. Got the ramsons just there as well. And we'll chop them up and add them to the pan. Come We'll just take a good pinch. Put that there for now. We just want to roughly chop this. as well. And quickly add that to the pan. That's the ramsons. Put the flowers back over there. We'll take the ground elder and we'll do the same thing with that. Just chop it finely, roughly rather. There we go. Now we'll just stir that through. Allow it to wilt a little bit, and then we'll beat the eggs and get the eggs in. The smell coming from here is absolutely amazing.
I'm going to take seven eggs in total, and they've got to be free range. I don't think it's right with the battery eggs keeping the hens in cages. in it. stir through keep away right now we're ready for the eggs that round evenly make sure everything is covered and take that and push everything in there <coughs> that's looking really nice one side. Now we're ready for the uh, goat's cheese. If we can get into it. It. Come away. Go, that's goat's cheese added. Now we'll just let that cook for a while and then we may have to go inside and put it under the grill just to finish the top off. There we go. I think that looks pretty amazing we'll cut a piece out and we'll try that then we'll cut a little wedge out and we'll see what it tastes like Tasty, nicely cooked through. Just like this to one side. Mm. 
that is delicious. The ground elder and the ramsons and the goat's cheese really make that something different. Absolutely beautiful. Which just goes to show something that we can cook with uh, what we can forage and uh, a quite simple straightforward meal. I mean you could take a piece of that, nice bit of salad, nice bit of crusty bread and you've got yourself a meal there. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. I'll go and see Claire, see if she wants to try it. She's busy pottering about in the house. Beautiful. I'd just like to say thank you very much for joining me on this one. I hope you have enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed um, making that frittata and eating it because it was delicious. Um, as I said, it's just something um, basic, something quite simple and it just shows um, how we can utilise and how we can use things that we can find on our walks when, when we're out, when we're out taking our daily exercise. Um, and it's good for the mind, body and soul. Um, that was really tasty um, and I'd just like to say uh, thanks very much for watching if you're new around here please subscribe um, and as always stay safe and we'll see you on the next one bye for now